Okay, now in this video tutorial, we'll see how to connect to a database using a proxy program. The editor we are using is the Microsoft Visual Studio Editor. Go to the start, click on the run button, type DEV ENV, which opens the Microsoft Visual Studio. Go to the file, click on the new, go to the project. Here select Visual C++ and then select Empty Project. Here I'm giving the product name as Connect DB. So this opens the project. First, you what you need to do is go to the resource files, right click on the resource files. Go to the add, click on the existing item. Now you should go to the directory where the Oracle is installed in your system. So here it is installed in H drive. H drive Oracle folder. Go to the installation directory. In the installation directory of Oracle, you will find this folder precomp. So double click on it and then select liblib folder and then select msvc now select these two libraries and click on the add so the resource files are added to our projects these are the library files okay now right click on the source files click on add new item here select C++ file now I'm giving the name of the file as connect.pc remember we are going to write the program in the connect.pc file we are given the extension .pc because we are going to write a program in proc so click on the add so here comes a blank file which doesn't have any code first you what you need to do is you should declare the host variables these variables are used in the SQL statements so to connect to the database or to get the data from the database or to insert the data into the database these host variables are used so I'm declaring the host variables SQL begin declare section here exec sql and declare section so in between these two statements you have to write the host variables actually this demo in this demo what we are going to do is just to connect to the database and to check whether the connection has successfully made or not so for that purpose i'm taking two character address u name which is of 20 and then password 20 so these are the host variables so again i'm writing exec sql include sql c actually what this statement does is it includes the SQL CS structure in the .c file I mean whenever you're going to compile this .pc file what the output is what the output generated is the equivalent C code for this .pc file okay we'll see the thing in a later session of this video So I'm including the header files, as all of you know, the standard header files. To on your dot h, include stdlib dot h. As is all of you know, the general template for the C program. So finally, I get ch.
So first go to the directory where this project is saved. So this project is saved in E drive. So I'm, I'm going to the E drive. So this is the directory where this project is saved, connectdb. So here you can see there is only one file, connect.pc. Okay, so now I'm going to the command prompt. Here is slash, going to the directory where this project is saved. YouTube, and then series space, connectdb. So dir. So here you can see the files. See here there is no dot c file. So now let us compile the connect.pc file and let's see what we get the output. Pro C which is nothing but the Pro C compiler connect.pc. So when I press enter, see here you can see the compiler is successful. See it has generated a dot c file. Here I have compiled the connect.pc file and it has given a .c file with the same name connect.c. What's the main difference is the proc file is converted into the C file with the same file name. Okay, let us add this connect.c to the project. So add existing item go to the directory youtube connect db so this is the file so yeah so just open this file see this is the code default code which is returned by the proxy compile See these are the host variables that I have declared. And one interesting thing that you can see is what are the statements that you have written with these two words starting ex sql are commented out in the .c file. Okay, we'll see later about these host variables. Okay, let me write the code to connect to a database. So remember one thing we have added the connect.c file to our project. or else you can add directly the connect.c file ok let me do one thing now I'm going to delete this connect.c see what is asking so I want to delete this .c file permanently so I'm clicking on delete so now I can't find the .c file here in the directory right click go to the add click on the new item select c file give the same file name that you have given for the dot pc connect dot c but with the extension dot c okay so there is no code written in the connect dot c I mean this is another way of adding the .c file to your project. I mean this will be the easier one. So now compile the .pc file. Connect.pc. Pro C connect.pc. So when I press enter, so when I return back to the Visual Studio, C it is asking. Already the connect.c connect file is opened in Microsoft Visual Studio. But the proxy compiler has written some data to the connect.c. So say as to all. See, this is the code which is written by the proxy compiler. Okay, this is another way of adding the connect.c. Okay. So now let me write the code for connecting to the database. So printf enter the username. 
can f so what are the variables that you have declared in this section you can use those variables in c like the variables in c so scan of so i have declared u name and password as character address so i'm using the string percentage s to read the username u name and i can print f enter the password scan of percentage s no, pwt so i have read u name and the password from the user so now i want to connect to the database so i'm going to write the embedded sql statement in the dot pc file so so the statement must start with the words ex ec space sql which represents execute the sql statement so now i'm writing the sql statement connect you name identified by pwd password as you see this is a normal sql statement you will write while if you want to connect to any other user so connect username identified by password so what is the main difference is while you are writing the sql statement the variables which you are going to use in this sql statement must start with the colon symbol connect colon u name identified by colon password so this is the way of writing i mean this is the syntax so i have written the sql statement to connect to the database so now you want to check whether the connection is succeeded or not so to check that error status and what is the error code written by the database you need to check one structure which gives the information about this error codes and error messages that is sql ca that's why i have written this statement include sql ca go back to the connect.c you will find this structure sql ca which is written by the proxy compiler for us this is the structure this will be written by the proxy compiler okay no need of writing this manually so this is the structure in this structure this sql code represents the error code written by the database and this contains the status message i mean if any error arises that error message remember this sql ca structure contains the most recent error message that occur so in this sql ca structure you will find the inner structure you sql errm is the structure variable defined for this structure so if you want to access this sql errm c you have to make use of the sql ca structure variable and here you can see sql ca is itself declared as a structure variable for the structure sql ca so if you want to access the structure members of this sql ca what you need to do is just type sql ca dot sql code similarly if you want to access sql errmc what you need to do is just type sql ca dot sql errm dot sql errmc so this is the way of writing as all of us know how to write the structures and uh, how to access the structure members so now i am going to check sql ca dot sql code equal to equal to 0 means the query has ex executed successfully so then i am going to print the message success or else i am going to print f error code percentage d slash n error message percentage s see this is a character array so i am giving as percentage s 
SQL CA dot SQL code which is an integer value and SQL CA dot SQL ERM dot SQL ERMC so this sends our program which checks for the status I mean whether the query has executed successfully or not so now I have made changes to this connect.pc so if you want these changes to reflect into the connect.c file you have to again compile it what are the modifications so you have done in connect.pc if you want to reflect those changes make sure that you have to compile again this connect.pc connect.pc ok there is no errors so when you return back the microsoft visual studio asks that this connect.c has been modified outside the source list so, so yes to all go to the connect.c see here the code so see here the SQL statement you have written is just commented out by the proxy compiler and it has generated generated the equivalent C code for this so this is the code generated by the proxy compiler for us for the SQL statement written by us yes ok now just press control F5 or else you can go to the debug menu click on start without debugging so say yes would you like to build it say yes so here comes the output enter the username so I'm giving Scott I'm giving Tiger so it has connected to the database successfully so now again I'm going to run this program and I'm going to give username Scott and now I'm giving the wrong password see here you got the error code minus 1017 and the error message invalid username or password so in this way you can check the status message I mean the error messages written by the Oracle database for you okay this ends the tutorial thank you